I love bread. Right? Who doesn't love bread? Who doesn't love a good slice of pizza, a nice plate of pasta, some garlic bread? Oh my gosh, garlic bread. Anyways, so I love bread. Oprah obviously loves her bread. We all love our carbohydrates. They taste good. They feel so good. So why are they always painted as such a bad guy? What's the big deal? Let's break this down real quick. So carbohydrates, which would be your snack foods, your chips, your pastas, your breads, your pizza, things like that, all that good stuff you love, they all break down in the body into glucose. And glucose is essentially sugar in the body, which gives us a nice boost of energy. But also, that also helps our body produce more serotonin. So not only are we getting the energy from the glucose, we're now feeling really good about it because serotonin's making us feel really happy about it, right? Now, why is that such a bad thing? Here's what happens, it's a double-edged sword. Because what happens is when you get this significant rise in glucose, that glucose actually wreaks a lot of havoc on our body, especially when there's too much of it. And what happens is that glucose creates tons and tons of inflammation in the body, which can wreak havoc on our health, and especially we know that that inflammation in the gut wreaks havoc on our brain. But also, to deal with that high levels of glucose, your body is secreting insulin. And insulin is your body's response to take all that glucose that's wreaking havoc on your blood and to push it into your cells for fuel or to push it into your fat to be stored for fuel later. That's essentially what insulin does. But also, eventually your serotonin levels are gonna run out. And what do you think happens when your happy molecules or happy hormones go away? You're not gonna feel so hot. You're also gonna feel like a crazy person because now you start getting all these cravings for breads and pastas and pizza, and now you're walking around like a crazy person going, I need bread, I have to have bread, give it to me now. Right, and you start acting like a crazy person. Nobody wants that, you definitely don't want that. And a lot of experts right now are really worried because about 45 to 65% of the standard American diet tells you you have to get your recommended caloric intake from carbohydrates which is definitely not a great thing because now what happens is when you have all these carbs rushing into your body, you're gonna consistently have high levels of glucose in your blood, which means your body is constantly gonna be trying to flush out this inflammation by producing more insulin. And insulin also spikes your levels of cortisol, which stimulates the stress response. So you can imagine now, this is gonna wreak havoc on not just your health, it's gonna affect the way you feel, so you're not gonna feel great and can even alter your behaviors and how you act with other people and make you actually a worse person, which is not that cool also. So now a lot of experts are worried because this high level of insulin that's constantly going to your body because your body's constantly trying to get this glucose out of your system is creating a common concern that we're finding now called insulin resistance where basically now your body is constantly being bombarded with insulin, that now it's basically getting calloused to insulin. It's not working the same way. It needs more insulin to do the same amount of work, which means that now you're gonna have consistently high levels of glucose floating around in your blood because your insulin's not as effective as it once was before, which means you're gonna have more inflammation running rampant in your body, which means you're constantly gonna be dealing with more and more health issues, you're gonna feel more tired, more fatigued, have more brain fog, more headaches, and all these other issues that come with consistently high levels of inflammation. You get the picture? So now as I've probably been talking about this, you've probably been thinking to yourself, okay, he's gonna tell me to cut my carbohydrates, I'm gonna have to become an anti-carb person, I'm gonna have to become this crazy anti-carbohydrate person. Is that what I'm saying? Absolutely not. But the key is we gotta understand what are the right quality of carbohydrates that we need to have, and also what's the right quantity of carbohydrates that we need to have. Because if we can do this, we can really change the way that our body responds to carbohydrates. And one of the first steps that's really been profound for myself and a lot of other people, and this is something that we teach in the Neuro Burn course where we basically hardwire your brain for fat loss, is we teach you how to take your body into a state where you're burning fat instead of all that sugar for fuel, which has some really amazing benefits that I'll talk about in just a second, that's called ketosis. And ketosis is the state where your body's running on fat versus sugar for fuel, which will really make you think twice about reaching for that pizza next time. So now I'm gonna share with you some of the amazing benefits of what happens when your body gets into the state of ketosis. All right, so here's what happens when your body gets into this really cool state called ketosis. Now, ketosis is essentially where your body is now running off of fat for fuel rather than sugar. Now, a lot of people would ask, Okay, so what's, what's the big deal? Why do I want my body to be running off of fat versus sugar for fuel? What are some of the benefits of that? Well, in order to understand that, we need to break down mitochondria. 
Now, mitochondria are essentially your cell's battery chargers. Their job is to take all the food and the fuel that you've eaten and to turn it into fuel that your cells can actually use for energy. That's essentially their job. Now, in order to do so, they need to break down sugar or fat for fuel. Now, when they break down sugar for fuel, what happens is it actually creates less energy than fat does. A lot of people are very surprised to hear that. The other thing is the breakdown of sugar versus fat for fuel, sugar actually produces more inflammation. Now, sugar actually produces more what we call oxidative stress. Think of almost like rust or smog coming out from your car. It actually creates more inflammation thus than fat does. So we always say fat is a much more cleaner fuel source. And there's a lot of benefits to this. One of the first ones that a lot of people talk about is obviously if you're running off fat for fuel, your body's gonna burn its own fat. And that's why people are going nuts over keto right now in the health community because there's a lot of amazing fat loss stories that come with that. And this is something that we teach in our neuro burn course where we basically hardwire your brain for fat loss. But there's a lot of different nuances to it. It's not as simple as it looks. There's a lot of keys that need to be taken into account when you're trying to get into ketosis. But we'll save that for another video. The other thing that happens is because you're now running off a cleaner fuel source, your mitochondria are actually going to get a little bit of a break. They're actually going to be able to heal themselves because what we're finding now is because so many people are running off sugar for fuel, we're starting to see more instances of what's called mitochondrial dysfunction or early onset mitochondrial dysfunction. And essentially your mitochondria run every sort of energetic and metabolic process in your body. So if your mitochondria is starting to get dysfunctional, that is not a good thing for your energy, for your health and your longevity. So that's definitely a huge, huge benefit is to give your mitochondrial a break and feel that energy and vitality start to come back, which is a huge boost. Now, the other thing is now that you're not getting all the sugar running through your body, your body's actually going to get a break from insulin. Remember how we were talking about that insulin resistance before? Your body's getting callous to insulin. It's gonna give your body a break from carbs, a break from all that glucose and insulin, and it's gonna allow your insulin sensitivity to start to come back. And here's the really cool thing with this. When your body starts to regain its insulin sensitivity, one, you're gonna notice you're gonna be able to bounce back a lot quicker from carbs. So let's be honest, we're probably still gonna have our pizza every once in a while. We're gonna go out with our friends and have some garlic bread or something, right? But what I've noticed and what a lot of our clients have noticed is that when you get in a state of ketosis and when you're in it more consistently, you notice it's much more easier to bounce back from having those carbohydrates where before it would take so much longer to recover from some of those. And that's getting into a state that's called fat adapted, where your body is actually prone and actually wants to run off fat for fuel and it has a much easier time switching over to that process, which is really, really cool. And something else that we teach in the NeuroBurn course. Neuro Burn course. And probably one of my favorite benefits of ketosis is what's called mitochondrial biogenesis. Now that's basically a big fancy word for saying you are going to increase the amount of batteries in each one of your cells. Ketosis does this amazing thing where actually it increases the amount of mitochondria in each one of your cells, which will actually make you feel more energy throughout the day. It'll increase your performance in the weight room, in the gym, and also help you feel more clear, more focused, and give you more brain power than ever before. Now, this definitely isn't a full enough space to include all the benefits of ketosis, including all the antioxidant benefits, the detoxification benefits that come with ketosis, but I'll include a link down below to our ultimate ketosis guide where we have a full list of a, just a ton of benefits of what ketosis does for your body. You can check that out below. So the question obviously is how do we go about accomplishing ketosis? How do we take our bodies from the state of constantly burning sugar into now burning fat? So basically there's a couple different ways you can do it. One is intermittent fasting. Another one is you can use the principles of ketosis where you're just lowering the amount of carbohydrates and sugar that you're getting, increasing the amount of healthy fats and forcing your body into this fat burning mode. You can also use exercise. There's also other supplements out there called exogenous ketones, which can help, but they're not the full key of that. But obviously, as you can imagine, there's a lot of different nuances and tweaks that really incorporate all these different things. And that's what we teach in our Neuro Burn course, where we basically teach you how to use the principles of intermittent fasting, ketosis, exercise and also brain hacks to actually hardwire your brain your body to get into this state of ketosis for effortless fat loss and lasting energy and i'll include a link to that in the description below but thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode hope you guys enjoyed this one before you leave make sure you hit that subscribe button down below here somewhere and i'll see you guys on the next episode of brain hacks